on some stiff wire. It's just a tiny bit larger in diameter than this stuff, so I gotta drill out that hole just a little bit. Tried my best to uh, recreate the shape. Got pretty close, but that first dog leg I made in the wrong position. But I figured as long as the overall length is right, which I got that pretty darn close, should be okay. It just has the effect that this little bend right here is going to happen a little bit further over this way, but I don't think it's going to interfere with anything. So, so the idea I'll be able to insert this in here like this and then turn it. And it, it actually goes in, but it's a little tight. I don't want it to bind. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna... Well, actually, that drill bit's not the right size. I thought I grabbed the right one. Guess I didn't. Let's see. There you go, this should be the right size drill bit. To, I gotta make this hole. This is a little tight. I don't want it to bind. It goes in. No, actually, it feels fine. You know, I bet you it was. I bet you when I first tried it, the uh, piece that I had on there was a little squashed down from the cutting, cutting it with the cutters. Mm -hmm. So this goes in from the bottom. Yeah. This sticks down in here like this. That clamps on like that. Okay, so that's where it's tight. It's tight in this plastic thing, which is a problem. Doesn't really want to go down in there. Yeah, it does. It takes a little bit of. A little more effort. So I'm going to try and just run this drill bit down by hand to see if I can't ream out a little bit of plastic without you know, damaging it too much. Do you get cool right here? I don't know. Oh, the sun's not hitting us anymore. Yeah, that would do it. There we go. Yep. Should work now. So I have to get this side in first. Like that. Okay. You hold on. Here we go. Just popped in. I don't know why it's being such a pain. But so it was like this. So this went like this originally. So you see the dog leg is a little bit out of position. Yeah, but well, that's fine. That's okay as long as the overall length is correct. Okay, hold on, let me test it. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Look at, come on, come on this side. You really can't test it when you're not running because but like nothing happens. You see this, well that's because the engine's not running. So when the engine starts running, the governor will will be pushing against this. Oh, okay. Okay, like this, it'll be pushing it like this to keep it closed. Yeah. And then when you use the throttle, you end up actually pushing against the governor to open the throttle up. So to simulate the engine running, I would have to put pressure like this with my finger. Okay. And then, then now you act, no, no, not with your finger there. Okay. I put pressure here, no, now go ahead. See. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so far that oh, this part now, right? Where did I put it? I don't know. Did you lose something already? Clean up, clean up our little area, and then put this on. Well, hook up all the wires. Oh, nice going, Walt. Nice going, it, Daddy. Oh, okay. Put this in back in its case. Yeah. All right. Let me have that elbow. Should we hook up those other wires first? What are the wires? Cables. One of the cables. There's none more. There's no more. I thought there was. Just the uh, choke cable. Oh, yeah. We certainly don't need to hook that up to get it running. We've had it running without one all this time. Yep. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to get some thread sealant to go on this. All right. So the stuff I put on here, Mark, is called Teflon tape. It's PTFE. Yeah. Um, so it's not directly compatible with gasoline. At least I don't think it is. I think pure PTFE might be. I don't remember. But what I do is when I put it on the threads, I make sure that none of the tape is leaning over into where the opening is so that none of it can come off and go into the carburetor. Ideally, I would use a, I would like to use a paste that is, uh, compatible with gasoline, mm -hmm. but I can't find my container of that right now. This will be fine. So this is called a tapered thread, meaning that that piece that I screwed in there, it starts out skinny mm -hmm. and it gets wider. So that's why it's getting harder to, to, 
to tighten it, and that's by design. It's it's a pipe thread, tapered pipe thread. Use the pliers. No, no, you don't use pliers. Come on, I know we're hacks, but we don't have to always be hacks. <laughs> use the wrong size wrench. That's if you really want to be a hack and show. You just grab the wrong size wrench and do this. And no problem. Still doesn't use it. Perfect. You talking about? This is the right one right here. I think I might want to put my gas in now. Remember Howard. I talked about? Yeah, how are we going to do that? Piece of cake. Enough that it'll run. There's enough in the tank so it'll run. But like I said, we're going to we're going to preload that yeah. bowl in the carburetor so that it uh, can run long enough to start pumping gas back out of the tank. So I got this little. Oops. I got this little scrap of hose on here. Push it on a little better than it was. There we go. This will fit right in there. And we should be able to. How much do you want to put in there? Ooh. Huh? How much are you going to put in there? I don't know. Maybe about this much. Should be a vent on this carburetor bowl that would allow it to. Take the gas in. I'll try a little bit more. All right. I'll tell you what. Just for giggles, this first time we'll just. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I was gonna say we'll just we'll start it off the gas in the carburetor, but it just occurred to me if we do that, it's gonna start pumping gas out of this open hose. Yeah. So we can't do that. But you see how there's gas sitting in this pipe? Yeah. Oh no, there isn't. That was just a bubble that popped. Okay, good. So the gas did go into the bowl. That's a good sign. Okay, we have to clamp the. You're you're an expert on that, right? Gas going into the bowl. All right. Theoretically, this should work. I'm not even going to bother touching those adjustments on the carburetor. Let's see what the uh, Chinese left for us for adjustments. All right. So we're still going to have to manually activate the choke. Look on your own. That that's closed. All right. Pull out. This is this is all the way down, so I'm gonna put the throttle up a little bit, right? You're gonna start it. Hold I don't. On. All right, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Well, we throw a little bit of carb, a little bit of gas down the throat of the carburetor and see what happens. Go ahead, try that. Okay. It's cranking, all the electrical is fine. All the electrical is fine? Really? You made that assessment that quickly? What do you have, x-ray vision? We well, don't know if this spark, do we? Mm -hmm. Ah, right, so. Let me go get a spark plug wrench. Let's see what happened with the spark. Plugs are soaked with fuel, so either it's badly flooded or, or we've got a spark. Well, that's interesting. That one's dry. All right, I'm going to disconnect this wire right here at the ignition so that I can crank it without having any spark. Because I, I want to clear those cylinders. Yeah, stand away from there. Okay, so we'll get that out of there too. That's all I need. Crap that was in there? Yeah. Let's see what I'm gonna do spark. Nothing. It doesn't look like it. There we go, spark. Just couldn't see it in the light. Alright. Stop, stop, stop. These tools are going to just fall on this. And okay.
All right, let's see where these carburetor settings actually are right now, just out of curiosity. So main jet, that's a half, that's a full, that's a half, that's full, really? that's a half, that's a full, that's three full turns. <laughs> Three and a half. So four full turns. Four full turns out. Yeah. Jeez, that's a lot. That is a lot. Actually, it doesn't seem like it's bottomed out yet. We go easy with these Chinese carburetors, you know. Hope it doesn't blow up on us. Five. That was that was completely undone. Really? Yeah. So. I think it's seated. I don't know. Well, let's see where the idle circuit was. Half, full, half, full. It's two full turns, two and a half, three full turns, three and a half or so. If that's fully seated, we'll call that fully seated there. Let's try a three quarters of a, let's try it right there and see what happens. All right, now that we got the carburetor throttled down a lot, with those things wide open, when, they, when this would crank, it was probably just sucking a huge amount of fuel in there and flooding out that cylinder. Get that flat tire on the other side. When it tilted this way, all of that fuel is just running right down this manifold and flooding out that, that tire cylinder. Uh, should, once it's running, it should be okay. What was that? Not sure. So it just completely stopped. You didn't do anything, right? Right, well, I tried turning the choke off, so. Maybe you have to let it run a little bit longer. Because if you remember, it's the first time it started. Well, I think it was getting ready to die when I moved the choke. So that's why I moved the choke, thinking that would save it. <laughs> the other possibility is that it's the last of the fuel that was in the carburetor there. But wouldn't the... Uh, when you crank it, shouldn't the fuel go up there? It takes a little longer for it. You know how long it takes to get this restarted when you run it out of gas. All right, let's pull that plug and make sure it's not all flooded out again. How much do you want to know it's going to be flooded? See, now it's dry? Mm hmm That's um, good. Yeah. So they use these little short screws with this fat head on it, mm -hmm. but they're regular. So you have to reach down in here and get these started, and then they tend to fall off the screwdriver or whatever, and you lose them, which is how I lost that last one. So yeah. what I did was these are... 1024, which means it's a number 10 size screw and the, yeah. and the thread pitch is 24. So it's a coarse thread number 10 screw. I found a couple of these type of screws here, you see. These have a socket head. Yeah. And what we can do is we can stick that on there and that tends to stay on there better. So this makes life a lot easier when it's reaching down into a hard to get to spot like this and get it started. With the ignition coils a little bit on the in the way on this side. Now these are just a little bit longer than the ones I took out. Mm -hmm. So as long as they don't bottom out on anything, it shouldn't be a problem. My, All right, that's good. My favorite design that Arian did was the GT20. Oh, that is awesome. You know what? We should get rid of this piece of GT16 and GT20. Oh, favorite. 16. Yeah, definitely. Why well, have a 17 when you can have a 16? The S16, which is the Sierra 16. What a puff. <laughs> Gee, son. I remember when you wanted this tractor so bad. Now it's just an old piece of junk. No, I still love it. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I still want to sell I it. Could tell. <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right. What was I going to do before I... Uh, I had checked the spark plug again, right? Yes. 
So I think we were going to try to put more fuel in it. Yeah. Yes, let's do it. It's right there. Let's do that. What's the worst that could happen? It blows up. Actually, will, will that hose reach over here? Yeah. Why don't you put some air in this tire? That was good, right? Daddy? Hmm? It wasn't that good? Yeah. Ran off that little bit of gas I poured in there and then died. Do you think it's getting fuel in there? No, I don't. I do not think it's getting fuel. I forgot to start the camera recording, but what I just did was I took this line off and I cranked the engine just to see if fuel was up to this point pumping out. It squirted out a whole bunch of fuel right here, but it also tried to start. So, uh, so I've got fuel all the way up to this point. So it's probably going into the carburetor unless something nasty like the brand new float bowl is stuck. Uh, that the needle is stuck in the seat and that no fuel is getting into the bowl. But because it just tried to start again, I'm wondering whether or not I just need to crack open these settings a little more. Normally I would turn the screws all the way in until they bottom out and then back them out a certain amount of turns. And I could find that at pre-setting online. The problem is that the springs they have in there, I'm it's kind of hard to tell if they're bottoming out and I don't want to force them because this is just a cheap Chinese carburetor and I might strip out that brass. Yeah, so I mean, you know, why is it going to be difficult, right? Well, spark plugs aren't coming out wet anymore. That's a good sign. That means it's not flooding the heck out. So I decided to try and check change uh, these settings so I think I was able to bottom this one out back out one full turn and bottom this one out and back out two and a half full turns this was like completely unscrewed I think that's why it was flooding out when I first did it so hopefully it's not the needle seat sticking or anything like that hopefully we'll get it to get to start now and just adjust it and be done <laughs> Shut it off. I want to just check the oil level because uh, I hear a little bit of tap it noise and I didn't think I heard that before. So I'm wondering to do whether it. or not I'm low on oil. We were pumping oh, yeah. a little bit of oil out of the uh, open oh. hole there before. Got something to wipe this with. Now I'll find something. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Looks a okay. Okay. Let's see if it'll start back up again with the choke off. Same thing with this adjustment. This is the idle circuit, the low speed adjustment. Why does it sound like idling very low? Don't even notice that. Yeah, it's just got to stumble a little bit there. What is this number? No. The Aries released this track in 1982. 
What'd you say? This Erin's released the tractor in 1982. Right, So, but then how many years was it made? So it can't be older than a 1982, and it can't be newer than a what? Uh. That seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. We should do the throttle cable now. Mm.